Welcome to this week's Archaeological Discoveries. I've got some great stories for you. First, I look at a recent paper detailing comprehensive interdisciplinary investigations into a hill in Italy that has long been associated with Attila the Hun, but is in fact a prehistoric mound. I then discuss the earliest record of humans kissing, the oldest saddle ever discovered, evidence for the plague in Bronze Age Britain, and analysis of silver bracelets from ancient Egypt, which prove trade with the Aegean, and the discovery of Bronze Age barrows and artifacts in Wiltshire. <laughs> Researchers find that a prehistoric mound in Italy dates to the Bronze Age. For a long time, legend had it that an enormous mound called the Hill of Udine in northeast Italy was built by Attila the Hun's soldiers in the 5th century. However, in reality, experts weren't sure whether it was natural or anthropogenic. And if it was anthropogenic, they weren't sure who built it or when. A new study published in the journal Nature has finally answered these questions by analysing five 40 metre long stratigraphic cores and comparing this data with earlier archaeological finds from the site. Located in the centre of the city of Udine, Italy, this flat topped hill is 30 metres in height and is referred to as the Colle del Castello, meaning Castle Hill. The legend says that Attila the Hun's soldiers created the hill so that Attila could watch the Roman city of Aquileia burn from it after his siege of 452. Over the past few hundred years, scholars have put forward a number of hypotheses for the hill's existence in an otherwise alluvial landscape, often explaining it through natural processes such as tectonic movements. The hill has a number of artificial structures on top of it from different historic time periods, including a Renaissance palace, medieval walls and tombs, the remains of Roman buildings, World War II tunnels, and 20th century water tanks. Prehistoric remains include a Bronze Age pit filled with pottery sherds and a prehistoric earthen structure. At the foot of the hill, a Bronze Age hut has also been found, dating to between 1300 and 1200 BCE. The archaeological finds compared with the stratigraphic cores show that the mound is artificial and was created between 1400 and 1150 BCE, so the Middle Bronze Age, from locally obtained loose sediments. Both silty gravels and reddish clays were placed alternately to construct the mound, a process also used to build Bronze Age tumuli in other parts of northern Italy and the ramparts of the Terramare and Castelliere settlements. Evidence was also found during paleobotanic analyses for the disturbance of a forest that once existed there, lending further weight to the argument that the mound is an anthropogenic construction. The hill has a volume of 400,000 metres cubed, making it the largest prehistoric mound in Europe. It clearly held huge importance to the community that built it. A depression exists on the eastern side of the mound where the modern-day Majo Square sits. This appears to be a fluvial incision which developed at the end of the last glacial maximum of the Ice Age and which has created a perched water table on its surface, something unusual in the gravelly part of the Friulian plain. The authors of the paper suggest that this water source may have attracted the ancient mound builders to the site. The Hill of Udine is not the only prehistoric structure to be attributed to the much later Huns. There are many tumuli, mounds, and tombs across Europe with similar legends. The researchers think that the Attila Association attached to the Hill of Udine was a recent revision of an ancestral memory that the mound was an artificial construction. New research analyzes the earliest evidence for kissing. Up until recently, research has suggested that kissing originated in South Asia around 3,500 years ago, before the practice spread to other regions, possibly taking the herpes simplex virus one with it. However, a new paper in the journal Science argues that documentation and other pieces of evidence point towards kissing as a well-established practice in Mesopotamia at least 1,000 years earlier than that. In Mesopotamia, kissing was discussed in many cuneiform clay tablets in different contexts, 
both that of romantic as well as that of platonic relationships. However, the authors point out that this does not necessarily mean kissing originated in Mesopotamia, but rather that it could be a fundamental human behavior which arose in many different cultures at different times. As well as its sexual and social role, it's possible that kissing helped spread viruses. Many medical texts from Mesopotamia do refer to a disease which sounds similar to herpes simplex virus 1. Called Bushanu, it was found in the mouth and throat and had many symptoms similar to herpes. However, the researchers also argue that since such texts were heavily influenced by culture and religion, it's difficult to draw a conclusion on whether Bushanu was in fact what we now call herpes. As well as cuneiform texts, evidence for kissing in Mesopotamia can be seen in art such as this clay model dating to 1800 BCE. The paper also mentions that there are two Neolithic sculptures thought to depict kissing, so much earlier references to it. One from Ein Sakri in the Near East, dating to around 11,000 years ago, and one from Malta in the Mediterranean, dating to around 5,000 years ago. A saddle excavated in China may be the oldest ever to be found. A recent paper published in the journal Archaeological Research details the excavation of a saddle in Yanghai, China. The saddle was discovered in a tomb along with the skeletal remains of a woman and dates to 2,700 years ago. It was positioned as if the lady was sitting on it and she was wearing other clothing associated with riding at that time as well. The saddle was made from cow hides stuffed with deer and camel hair and straw. From 3,000 years ago onwards, this Subexi culture occupied the area. It's likely they rode horses for herding animals. This is the oldest saddle found so far, with previous finds from the Central and Eurasian steppe dating to between the 5th and 3rd centuries BCE. So it's possible the saddle was invented in China. Horses were domesticated around 6,000 years ago, but this was initially for meat and milk. The practice of riding horses appears to have developed around 1,000 years later. It's thought saddles were invented to make riding more comfortable, meaning horses could be ridden over longer distances, changing the way people communicated and traded with one another. New evidence shows the plague dates back to the Bronze Age in Britain. A research team investigating a mass Bronze Age burial in Somerset and burials at the Levens Park Cairn dating to the same time period in Cumbria have found three cases of the plague, making these samples the oldest evidence for its existence in Britain. The plague, which is caused by the Yersinia pestis bacteria, has several common types, including the bubonic, pneumonic, and septicemic. And although it's known for causing the Black Death in the 14th century, it has been around a lot longer than that. The research has been published in the journal Nature Communications. 34 skeletal remains were investigated at the two sites, with the bacterial DNA being found in the teeth of three individuals. It's possible other individuals at the sites had also been infected, but the bacteria didn't survive. The mass burial site at Charterhouse Warren in Somerset yielded a lot of evidence for trauma, suggesting that the individuals there were killed in a violent event. Therefore, it's unlikely that it was a mass burial resulting from people losing their life to the plague. However, there are several points for and against this argument, so further sampling and analysis is needed to conclude one way or the other. Silver bracelets were traded between Egypt and Greece during the Bronze Age. Evidence for short and long distance trade during the Bronze Age has come up in a number of news stories recently. It certainly seems to have been a time when people travelled over huge distances, both on land and sea, building trade networks and exchanging cultural ideas in the process. A new paper published in the Journal of Archaeological Science outlines evidence for the contacts between Egypt and Greece around 2600 BCE. Egypt does not have silver ore resources, so silver artefacts rarely appear in the archaeological record until the Middle Bronze Age, which is when imports became more common. A recent study carried out a new analysis of silver bracelets discovered in the tomb of Queen Hetaferis I, who was the mother of the pharaoh Khufu. The samples belonged to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston and were analysed using Bork XRF, Micro XRF, SEM EDS, X-ray diffractometry and MCICP MS to work out the original source of the silver. The results showed that the bracelets consisted of silver with traces of copper, gold, lead and other elements 
and the lead isotope ratio showed that the ore originated mostly in the Cyclades and partly in Lavrion, Attica. This proves that trade networks existed between ancient Greece and ancient Egypt and provides further evidence for the interconnectivity of Bronze Age civilizations in the Mediterranean. Bronze Age site discovered in Wiltshire. Cotswold Archaeology, working at a new housing development in Harnham, Wiltshire, has uncovered Neolithic and Bronze Age finds, as well as a few artefacts dating to other time periods. The dig started in November 2022 and is still ongoing. So far, a pot, flint tools and deer antlers have been found dating to the Neolithic. Deer antlers were used as hand picks and also as ritual artefacts. 240 post holes, probably related to agriculture, five barrows, ten burials, three cremation burials and a lynchette were found which date to the late Bronze Age, early Iron Age. A lynchette is an Iron Age field terrace created by ploughing. Beaker pottery and a spindle whorl were also found dating to the Bronze Age. The team unearthed a few Anglo-Saxon artefacts from a waterhole including pottery, a buckle and two knives. All the finds are now to be analysed further whilst the dig continues. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to my patrons and channel members. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Add a comment and I'll see you next time.